Wisconsin Foodie would like to thank the following underwriters. Well, this is a special day for us. Uh, we've got a, some big news uh, this week. We've changed our name from Candlewood Cabins to Anaway Place. Yes. And it's just a whole new era coming up. We were really excited to partner with Luke and Ruthie from Driftless Cafe to bring this event to our space, which we've dreamed about doing for, gosh, years. I am really, really excited to sit down and and have each dish represent the cabins the way they do. It's very, very special. He has an amazing creativity, Luke Zum, and yes, he has a course named after each cabin. And so we're looking forward to hear him talk about yeah. each course yeah. and how it represents each cabin. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, first and foremost, thank you for coming together today. Honestly, like, this is a dream. 45 guests, biophilia, technically biophilia, is the incorporation of nature into a space. And this property reflects that amazingly. The hosts, the owners, have graciously opened their doors to let us execute this here. We're here tonight, we're celebrating this amazing place. This is a place people have been when the rest of the continent was literally frozen over. This has been a safe haven for people and it's been flyover country for too damn long. So my ask is that tonight we turn it up one notch we put on a show for these people, and we do this place proud, all right? Here we go, let's do this thing. So one of the things about this dinner that I'm so excited uh, to represent is this connection. Um, and this glass cabin in the forest, it's all about bringing the elements of the forest into the plate, right. which is why we're actually gonna plate it on a glass block. But, Amazingly, the universe has provided us an opportunity. There are oyster mushrooms right outside the cabin. Oh, no way. I'd love to go check them out and see if we can't harvest them and incorporate them into the dinner. Yeah, absolutely, let's go get them. Great. Oh yeah, look at all those. Oh man. Oh, these are gorgeous. Yeah, these are perfect. So when you come across something like this in the, in the woods, how much of this do you know how to sustainably harvest? I mean, is there a point where you leave some to repropagate? Uh, especially with mushrooms, there's not as much of a concern because all the mycelium network is actually in these logs. Um, so anytime we're removing one of these, we're cutting off basically just the fruit. So it's like picking an apple from an apple tree. Sure. Um, at that point, you're not really affecting the tree. You're not harming it. Obviously, this is dead wood. Mm -hmm. um, so all that mycelium that's still in the tree, that's going to fruit right out of that same spot, if not nearby, the next time it flushes. Amazing. Here, I'll take that. We'll put it in the hat. Fancy little foraging hat. Yeah, exactly. I knew I got it for a good reason. There's that one. And I can hold that if you want to get that one sure. down there. This is my shot here. I'm going to come right along there. Yeah, that's perfect. Pops right off. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Well, this is incredible, and I can't wait to put elements of this forest into this dinner to represent this cabin behind me. All right, let's head back. Let's do it. Let's go cook some food. Good evening. Welcome to this wonderful estate, the Anaway Place. This has been a culmination of a long journey for us. We knew that preparing this dinner, we wanted to have all the spaces here that were available at Anaway Place represented in courses and the architecture represented in courses. But fortunately tonight, we have the best chefs in the game back here in this kitchen. They are going to amaze you with some of the food that we are kicking out. This is gonna be incredible, all right? Here we go.
the smoked Monroe on cedar. So this Monroe cheese will come with the cheese maker who will arrive at 6 p.m. Her name is Madeline Kuhn. This cheese we are taking early. It's a young cheese from the cellars of Emmy Roth located in Monroe, Wisconsin. We are gonna throw it on a cedar plank. We're gonna brulee that with a little bit of sugar. We're gonna torch it. It's going to smoke. That cedar has been soaked in brandy, so it smells. You get all these aromatic caramel notes. And then we're serving that with a little bit of a shard of buttermilk biscuit from Organic Valley. And last but not least, a rhubarb and strawberry jam that we put together yesterday. So this is the Meadow House course. The Meadow House course for me, waking up here in a winter morning, you couldn't tell where the sky stopped and the ground started. And this cabin is just all glass. So you felt like you were in the clouds. I wanted to do a course that represented my stay here in the clouds. And that's exactly what this represents. So this is a white pine box. Uh, we have a little bit of a saffron aioli, pickled red onions, but then we took some walleye from the Red Cliff Band of Chippewa and we whipped that into a mousseline. We poached it very, very gently so it stays nice and fluffy, just like the clouds in the, in the morning that I woke up here. That actually was the entire inspiration for this whole, whole dinner. That and the ability to share this place with you. One of the reasons I love cooking outside is it really brings out this instinct in chefs. Either you get it or you don't. Uh, the courses so far have been really refined and articulate, and I'm so excited that they're being executed. The Emmy Roth cheese, though, I think so far has secretly been the star of the show. It's hard to overcome greatness, you know what I mean? So what we have here, these are the next two courses getting ready to be served. I have some organic prairie beef. It's magical, but this, this is the forest coming to life. This is part of the glass house. This is venison that has been harvested in my home valley in Lafarge. And we are grilling it quickly. We've sous vide it to about 105 degrees, so it's nice and rare. We're gonna get just a little bit of smoked zhuzh on it. We're gonna slice it up, and we're gonna serve it with a lot of those forage items that we found over the course of the shoot. This venison is so tender. I get just a little bit of that smoke on there, but the peppercorns, it's so floral and so deep. It kind of takes me uh, to a different place, honestly. This is some of the best medicine I've ever had. Beautiful La Sonato Kale. This, I think, is like one of the unsung heroes of our restaurant. Just a little bit of lemon, salt, black pepper, sometimes some chili flake. Forget about it. This is like the culmination of the entire dinner. So the glass house where we pulled elements of the forest in. These are those oyster mushrooms. We're giving them a quick tempura dip and into the fryer. This is gonna be accompanied with that beautiful venison and some fried milkweed blossoms that Chef John's got coming out of the fryer over here, also tempura dipped. So this course is all about the glass house here, which if you haven't been familiar with Anaway Place, they have a cabin in the forest that's all glass. Sounds a little intimidating, but it's not. It's the essence of forest bathing. And so what we wanted to do for this course is bring all the elements of the forest onto the plate. So we have some mustard greens here, but then everything else is foraged. The venison, the milkweed blossoms, the oyster mushroom. But my favorite part is we're plating this on construction glass block. It's a whimsical note to kind of end the dinner a little bit. Hey, before we go any further, I want to give a round of applause to these wonderful people. You give us the, uh, the ability to flex what we do and what we love to do and tell stories and create great food and hopefully amazing memories. So uh, we love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good job, chefs.